Hi friends, it's Miss Kia here, your favorite 4AK teacher. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all 35 of my subscribers. My subscribers had went up. Thank you all so much for, for subscribing to my channel, excuse me, and for connecting with me. Um, I have been reaching out to so many educators on Instagram. Um, we connect with each other. Some of them we talk. We check about things that are incorporated within our classrooms or whatnot. I love the connections. I love the bond. So thank you all so much. Before I get into today's video, I'm going to. I have to say this. I will not post a video every day. I will not post a video throughout the week. I'm only able to post videos on Saturdays or Sundays. Um, the reason being because I work every day. You know, I'm a 4K teacher. Monday through Friday and my weekends are my days when I am free to do things so if it's not on if I don't post a video on Saturdays for sure I will post one on Sunday that's my day to relax to get myself prepared and ready for the upcoming week so I will post a video videos on either Saturdays and Sundays okay so now that now that is out the way within today's video I'm going to be talking about um, activities first and second week activities I did in my 4k classroom the first week of school I did not go into curriculum um, the reason being because my kids are four and they just not coming into a 4k classroom environment so the first week of school the only thing that we did were we practice um, circle time procedures we practice um, restroom procedures how to line up um, how to come back inside um, I introduced them to our friend Bailey that's in our classroom. This is with the Conscious Discipline. And our friend um, Sophia. So we was just basically practicing the first week of school connections, commitments, school rules. Uh, we toured the center. Um, I make sure my friends know all the teachers that are in each classroom. And what kids they teach within that classroom. We know about different names at our school. The first week of school and things like that so I didn't really got into curriculum the first week of school um we did do one coloring um, assignment basically everything that was on my August newsletter we did so um, as I stated before my center do not want us to do worksheets they call like dildo worksheets I think but it was just something quick and easy that I had to put together so basically um, these were um, amazing worksheets positive worksheets before they did them I basically explained as you're in 4k you're going to do some things that will be that may be hard that will be hard to you but you can do hard things you can do all things it's okay you won't go give up you won't quit you are capable of learning anything and everything so we did these little worksheets if you can see it it says I am capable of learning anything um, I am on the right track and I can do hard things so basically I just gave them this worksheet and they just color it and I post it in the classroom um, I'm gonna try to have some pictures towards the end of the video so you can see certain things that we did the first and the second week of school so we did that the first week of school now going into the second week of school that's when things kind of got into the curriculum um, I, within my 4K First Steps program, I have a beginning of the year study book. All of my um, lesson plans come from a book. It's different units and different studies. So this is the book that we're focusing on right now. If you can see it, it says the Creative Curriculum Teaching God, the beginning of the year study. And last week, we just got finished talking about what names do we need to know at school. Um, I had an anchor chart and I had different pictures of a cafeteria worker, a janitor, um, teachers, a director because I work at a learning center, so a director, and students. So basically we talk about um, different names and things that we know at that school and I had pictures and I asked them to, it's basically was like a call and response thing, go point to the picture of the teacher or go point to the picture of the janitor. What do the teachers do at the school or the learning center? What does the janitor do? And basically I put everybody that works in our learning center their names on the board I didn't have pictures pictures would have been cool to go along with it but I just basically put their names on the board so they'll know this is what this person do this is what this person do does in our center 
But basically the last week of, not the last week, the second week of school, this is where I got into the question of the day. And our first question of the day was, can you find your name? No, can you find your name and put it on the board? So basically what I did was I wrote all of my friends' names on the board and they had to go circle their name on the board. This helps with identifying the child's name. This is also a great documentation note, observation note, or anecdote note, whatever, however you want to call it. But this was a great documentation note. They're able to find their name. I did maybe like two mighty minutes. And I did want to read aloud. The I read this on the first day of school. A Pocket for Corduroy. Everyone should know this book is in my thumbnail. A Pocket for Corduroy. They love the Pocket for Corduroy. And we did a um, book at TV on it. It's so cute. I will just like I said before. I will try to have some pictures towards in the video. So you all can see the things that we did the first and the second week of school um after we did a pocket for corduroy um maybe i think for our small group time we did a sort the behaviors as kind or er unkind worksheet basically what i did was i pre-cut excuse me i pre-cut all of these and i have them to the color and we did it together as a class um i had a copy i had a copy I, um, yeah i had a copy and they had a copy so before we got into it we talked about it um, they color it and they were able to see which picture shows kindness and which picture shows someone's making poor choices and not being, you know, kind to their friends. And we did this together as a school family and they love it. So we did that. Also, we did, um, where is it? We made pre-K hats. We made my first day of school. I am in pre-K. This was fun. I pre-cut all all the hats and I pre-cut all the um the pictures that goes along with the hat it was different options this was option two and this was option 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 one basically my friends just color it and then what I had to do was measure their heads make sure it fit around their heads and I put it around their heads and they love it they wanted to wear it all day so that was another activity that we did we also talk about our um 4K school family jobs. I actually did like a wild experience with that, but that's it's up for another video. I did a wild experience with that where they had to um, come dress as the job they wanted to be um, for our 4K classroom. It was like an interview thing. It was really, 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 really amazing. They love it, and it it was like it was as if we were on a real interview. I dress up, they dress up, and I only ask them five questions. This helps with a lot of life skills and social um, social skills. So they'll be, you know, start talking, articulating their words, you know, and everything using complete sentences. So that was good, but that would be for another video. I also read A World, A World of Families. We talk about different families. Um, I have a student that's in my class. Um, it's a family-owned business, and his family worked there, so I, he had... He was able to, you know, relate to me because I told him his family works here with him. So that was a good read aloud. And also, before I do read alouds, I didn't say this when I um, introduced Pocket for Quarter Word. We go over the parts of the book and we go on a picture walk and talk about the pictures before I go into the, um, before I go into all my read alouds. Um, after we did that, we read, um, this, I'm going from the first week and the second week so this so as I'm talking it will be things that we did the first and the second week of school but I did got into curriculum so the second week of school I did got into curriculum where all the read alouds came about so we also read love is a family but we didn't go through the whole book because um, I think lunch had came and we had to pause it there but we read love is a family and then they really enjoyed this book we're going to be reading this book next week as well, starting on Tuesday. Um, Wimbledon Worry, and it comes along with the book discussion cards. Basically, um, a book discussion card is how you should, maybe some open-ended response questions on how you should read the book before reading, while reading, and after reading, and some awesome vocabulary words to get their little, you know, brains going and words that they should know or, you know, they should be familiar with or whatnot. And I also put together a Wimberlyn Worry um, activity project. We're going to do this on Tuesday. So basically um, what I did was I pre-cut Wimberlyn face. I have glue sticks. I have um, some small pipe cleaners for um, Wimberlyn legs. 
and a glue stick and they can either color the bag or decorate the bag how they want it and we're going to do this activity on um, one day next week as well I also introduced them to the story of a kiss in hand. We actually we talk about the story on Friday. We just talk about the pictures because next week we're going to be talking about one moment. What should we do if we get sad or scared at school? That's going to be really, 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 really interesting. I have an anchor chart where I have um, what worries them at school or what are some things they are sad about or scared about. We're going to be having an open class discussion about that which goes along into the kiss in hand i love this book and i put together a activity bag for that as well so this is basically like a first second and third week of school um vlog basically but i put together a packet i put together all eight packets for all of my kids and also i have eight kids in my classroom now i just was informed that I have another student that will be starting in my class on Tuesday. Yay, so I was preparing his things and trying to get ready for him. But basically what I did was I pre-cut the little saying on here. It says, here's a special trick I know when I'm sad and scared to go. Take my hand and kiss it here. The kiss from you I will hold dear. Down my hand and up my arm into my heart the kiss go on. So they can either color this very, very light and I pre-cut out the hand. They can color it yellow and color the heart red. And I have some construction paper where they're going to glue it on there. And I only have one glue stick and a yellow and a red crown. Because these are the only two crowns that they would use. So I put together some activity bags for that particular assignment. Um, also, on Friday, they made their um, jobs people. It's actually for the safekeeper box. But my coordinator just brought this to me on friday this is how it looks so i let them use this for their job so they created and decorated how they wanted it and i wrote their name on the back so this would be for their jobs and it would just go into the pocket that i have up there on the wall and they also created they also created these as well i don't really want to show too much of this because the name is on it but they also created these as well for the safekeeper box they decorate it and i just put their name on it and they use those every morning as well um what else did we do and i think that's basically everything that we do but um every year i have a different set of kids in this class they are very different from my first two classes this class they are so used to playing which is how they learn but playing comes along with you know structure consequences being um interactive with your kids um small groups assign small group activities and things like that so it's like every time after we um and let's say every time after center time they think it's time to you know go outside no it's not time to go outside you know every day after center time what time what do we do someone will say recall time we do recall time which is the purpose of a visual schedule. I'm in the process of getting that up and creating that now so they'll know what we do every day throughout the day because they don't know how to tell time they're four so they need that picture visual schedule up to help them along the way. So yeah, um, but I'm really enjoying them. I'm glad I don't have a big class. I only have a, a, a eight friends in my class. They're very loving. Uh, we're working on using our problem solving skills. We're working on using our big voice with the help of Sophia, with the help of Bailey. That's another video with conscious discipline. I will check, talk about that later. We're working on how to share. We're working on our breathing methods and how to be a star. So those basically everything that I did my first and second week of um, 4K with my 4K friends. Um, I hope everything was well said, was presented well. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like this video, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share. My goal is still to at least have 100 subscribers by the end of September, so please help me. Um, anything that you are doing that um, you want me to connect, to connect with you, I'll be sure to share your video, share your pictures, share your post share your vlog because i want us to be together and you know connect together so that's all i have for you all today friends i hope you all have an amazing labor day tomorrow and amazing work week we only have tuesday wednesday thursday friday a four-day work week yay that's exciting so um 
And I wish you all well. Thank you all for connecting with me. Bye, friends.